So we're going to talk about tax. So what is tax? So tax is what is used to pay. So the government takes tax and it's used to pay for hospitals, roads, schools, and all those good things. So we're all for paying tax. Um, but what the government also do, they give incentives for you to invest more. So the government give you things like a pension and in the UK an ISA, so individual savings um, allowance. So these are tax incentives. So think of it like if the government didn't give these um, incentives, people wouldn't use them. And when people get old, um, they're going to need more support from the government. So they're going to need a bigger state pension. So by the government offering these incentives, it encourages people to save and invest for their future. So I think of it, so tax is used for, um, can be used for an incentive or a disincentive. So think of um, cigarettes, for example. So cigarettes are obviously really bad. We all know, bad for you, we all know this now. It causes horrible things like cancer and things like that. So what the government does, every year they put a tax on cigarettes to um, it make it more even more expensive to buy a cigarette. So if you think about 10, 20 years ago, cigarettes were, I, I don't know, two pounds or whatever. They were much cheaper than they are today. I went into um, Sainsbury's uh, the other day, it was 10 pounds for a cigarette. I was like, for a pack of 20, that's, that's to discourage people from s smoking and obviously causing diseases like cancer and things like that, and then people having to be treated at hospitals. And it will, so, so tax incentives are a good thing. So um, what I've come up with um, is using the football formation asset allocation, I've used the most simplistic way I can explain um, what a pension is and what ISA is, is to use like a football pitch. So what I think of it, the way I think of a tax shelter, it's, it's like a, if you're playing football, it's like the, your, the box that, you, that, that your keeper can use. So the keeper can use, can pick up the, bo his, the ball in that box. So it, the rules state that you can do, you know, additional, so a keeper can pick up the, the ball as part of the game. So an ISA is similar. So it's a tax shelter. It just means you can do certain things that you can't do outside the tax shelter. So think of it, so an individual savings account so putting money into this tax shelter, so in the UK you get £20,000 a year to put into this tax shelter. And it just, it, it means that when money, when investments is, are in this shelter, it just means that it doesn't get capital gains tax, which means that it's tax on the gains of that, if that share grows, um, if it's outside that shelter, then you're going to get taxed on it. So it's, ISA doesn't get capital gains tax and also you don't get dividends tax so when a share produces profits they produce a dividend and that's given back to the shareholder so you're taxed on that amount if it's outside of this box essentially so let's use it, the ISA so on the way in it is tax so you you go you uh, work at a job um, you get paid income tax on that job so when it comes before you before you actually get physically in your hand that money that's been taxed either 20% or 40% or 45%, depending on how much your income you get. So with an ISA, it is taxed on the way in. So you're taxed when you get your money um, in your pay packet, then you can go and put money into an ISA. So it's taxed on the way in. When it's inside this box, it doesn't have capital gains tax or it doesn't have dividend tax. So this means it can grow faster. So over time, it's not getting taxed, it's not getting those, your um, investments aren't getting eaten away by tax. And then when, when, when you take that money out of that tax wrapper, that ISA, it doesn't incur any tax. So that's a great thing for when you, say when you retire and you've got, you've built up um, X amount of years, 20 years of tax uh, investment savings in your ISA, you're not gonna get penalized by any more tax. So that's the ISA. So the individual savings there. Let's move to the pension. So I think of the pension and the ISA. They're very similar things. So think of them like the boxes in the football formation. They're very similar, but in a way they're very different, if that makes sense. So think of it like it's almost backwards of what, what it is. So it's exactly the same thing. So it's the government want to encourage you to invest for the future. So they offer tax incentives. So with a pension, 
The great thing about a pension is there's no tax on the way in, and that's amazing. So if you're a high rate taxpayer um, at 40%, you'll get that back as tax relief. Um, if, you're, um, if you're a basic rate taxpayer, um, you'll get this back at 20%. So because you're, you've been taxed already on your, on your pay packet, when you see your pay packet, that's already been taxed by the government, you'll be, get, get, you'll be given that back at the, the rate that your, your income, that you're, you're at either 20, um, 40 or 45. It's exactly the same in this box. So the tax um, wrapper is also, there's no capital gains tax and there's also no dividend tax. The downside to the pension is it's tax on the way out. So you have, we use the, the pig analogy in other, um, in, in other videos, you get 25% tax free that you can take tax free, but the other 75% is tax as an income. So you have like a pot of money um, and you have, so your income allowance is whatever it is this year, so £11,000, you can take that amount as tax free, anything above that will be taxed as an income. Um, and this is the, the best, easiest way, the simplest way I can explain what tax wrappers are. So if you're still not sure, then go and see um, a tax advisor or a financial advisor, but this is just a very simplistic way to give um, kind of the financial guidance, the kind of overarching concept of what tax is.